What's up guys, this is Chris. Uh, I got a question last week. I'm gonna move this uh, soap bottle out of the way. Sorry about that. Chilling out here in my kitchen. I got a question last week on Instagram from a gentleman who was asking me, what sort of rep ranges do I need in order to get Tony cut? And uh, when I get questions like this, and you have to understand this about personal trainers, one of the least favorite questions we get is, oh, I don't wanna get big and bulky or I don't even care about getting strong. I just want to get toned and cut. Um, and I understand that amongst a lot of you, that kind of beach body look, that men's physique look is really popular right now. What I don't think a lot of you understand is that a lot of those guys that you see in the men's physique category, they put a shit ton of time into looking the way they look. They train their asses off and you're still going to need to go through the basic steps uh, that you're gonna to need to go through in order to get to that body. And it's going to take time. It's not gonna take you know, some six week course. It's not gonna take uh, some get big quick or, or get tone and cut quick program. It's gonna take some hard work and some education. So let's start on the education part. The first thing is this. If you are somebody who has never stepped into a gym before, if you've never touched a barbell before, or even if you've trained for about a year so far, what you need to be working on is not getting toned and cut. You need to be working on your foundational strength. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, the first thing you need to work on is perfecting your form. You need to become a master of the barbell. You need to become a master of all the basic exercises that you are going to need in order to get that body you want. Now, why am I emphasizing this so much? Well, I'm emphasizing it because I started lifting when I was 12 years old. I'm 36 today. And I kind of just jumped into it. I started bench pressing, trying to use as much weight as possible. I didn't really care about form that much. I started doing all kinds of crazy ass versions of the overhead press. I started doing um, some weird things that probably freaked everybody out that looked like squats. And I was shooting myself in the foot from the beginning because today I have all types of different asymmetries that I've had to try to hammer out over my time um, because I wasn't paying attention to my form when I was younger. And that's because muscle models along the lines of stress. And so if you are not paying attention to your form, you could be creating lines of stress that don't necessarily go along with the way you want to look down the line. So you really have to reverse engineer this and you really have to say to yourself, rather than feeding my ego, rather than fucking, you know, trying to impress everyone in the gym, I'm going to first take some time to perfect my form to the point that I'm going to perform these exercises to hit the muscles that I want to hit so that 10 years from now, I will have a symmetrical body. And it's hard for a lot of people to think in that long term, but for all of you out there, I'm you from 15 years from now, and I'm telling you, you will benefit much more down the line if you really work on your form to begin with. Two, once you work on your form, then that's when you work on your foundational strength. Great program for that is probably the Wendler 5 through 1. Um, that's when you're doing sets of 3, sets of 5 to work on your foundational strength. And the reason why you want to do that is so that when you eventually move into the muscle building phase, when you're using heavier weights for higher repetitions, you're not going to get injured. So the point of working on strength, again, is not to impress everybody. It's not to even try to pull an elite total unless that's you choose to be in the sport of powerlifting. The point is to create armor around yourself and really try to become injury proof so that you know your tendons are stronger, so that you're not gonna rip your biceps off the bone when you try to do a bent row down the line or a deadlift or, or, or a preacher curl. Um, so, or so that when you're running at some point or doing cardio, you're not gonna tear your quad. So that's why you want that basic foundational strength. So you start by perfecting your form and then you go to working on your basic foundational strength. Then once you do those two things, then 
you move into the hypertrophy phase. And so that entails including a bit more assistance exercises, um, working on assistance exercises to enhance uh, weaker body parts and including more repetitions, probably like from 12 to 15 repetitions uh, in order to enhance muscle fiber recruitment because that's the key to building muscle is muscle fiber recruitment and knowing that muscle fibers recruit from smallest to biggest, you have to tire out those smaller muscle fibers first in order to hit the larger ones. So that's where more repetitions come in. And then once you do that, you keep working. You keep working and refining and building and so that you know years down the line that's when you are going to get that toning cut body you really want in addition to that you really do need to consider diet so if you're a skinny guy who's at you know 30 percent body fat because there are skinny guys out there who are at 30 percent body fat it's uh you know it's called being under muscled rather than uh being overweight then you are going to have to really make sure that you're eating a diet that is conclusive to building muscle and burning fat and enhancing body composition. Um, but again, guys, there is no easy solution to this. I hope this was somewhat informative and I give a lot of other specifics as to diet and other videos and things like that. Um, if you've got questions for me, hit me up at getting shredded at gmail.com or check out my website for other great content. That's chrisalbertfitness.com.